I'm going to ask you to please stand for the posting of the colors by Scout Troop 745 of Salem United Church, United Methodist Church, the National Anthem by the Dunn Middle School Band Students, and the invocation by Mr. Fred McDaniel. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to come here today to honor a great man, a great one to all of us, a great historian, a great servant of yours, Lord, a man that lived his life, that you would have him live, seeing you through him every day with every person he met. Brad was a servant, a servant of yours, a servant of his community, a great history buff, a man who wanted history to stay alive so that we'll know where we were, where we are, and where we're going, Lord. He did that in history. He also did that in your kingdom. And Lord, we appreciate all of the things that he did for all of us for so many years. And we know he's happy there that he's now. Brad, we love you not only for who you were, for who you are, but for what we have become for having known you. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As president of the Eggersburg Battlefield Commission, Incorporated, it is indeed my pleasure to honor and to welcome you to this historic canon dedication ceremony and also to help us commemorate the 149th anniversary of the Battle of Eggersburg. I know there are many of places that many of you could have been this afternoon, on Sunday afternoon in mid-March, but we're happy that you chose to be here with us on this wonderful occasion. We have within our audience board members, elected officials, friends of Babelsboro, and above all, patrons and donors. All of you are important to us, and we welcome you and thank you for coming today. I would like to especially thank for the donors and sponsors for being here. Davisburg Battlefield Commission Incorporated is an all-volunteer organization. We have no paid staff to operate the museum or to maintain the battlefield. Everyone is a volunteer. We are fortunate that Dunn Area Tourism Association and the Harney County government have for many years chosen to be partners with us. With the financial help of our donors and the dedication of our hundreds of volunteers, we have been able to move this organization forward to where it is today. It was just a few years ago when Rad Rich, that wonderful citizen from East Dover, North Carolina, was asked to be a volunteer at the Avisboro Battlefield. Rad not only quickly accepted the call, but he actively and rapidly became one of our best volunteers, supporting us with his time, his talent, and his finances. Rad, being a lover of history, rather enjoyed his time here, and whether it be riding on our tram in the Christmas parade, or giving details to museum visitors about the Battle of Avisboro, he always challenged those of us around him 
to reach out and attain higher levels of service to Avisboro. Preserving the past for the future, our motto spoke to Rad Rich's heart. He enjoyed getting his own family involved in this history, as well as his church's Boy Scouts, so that they could learn and spread the word about the brave men who went into battle here, each fighting for a cause to which he truly believed. To know Rad Rich was to know a man who never approached any task half-heartedly. From his service as a superb pharmacist to many thousands of customers, to his church service, to his civic services, and to his fellow man, he always gave his best. His efforts and challenges at the Avisburg Battlefield were also approached with nothing but his best effort. Because of his untimely death, we were unable to adequately thank him for what he meant to us and to our mission here at Avisboro. We are indeed glad that you are here today to help us show how much we cared for Rad and with this canon dedication to allow the world to have knowledge of the one who we perpetuate the memory. To those thousands of visitors who will never have known Rad but will be able to learn something about him as they learn about the history of the battle. Welcome. And later during the ceremony, Dr. Jay Gillespie, one of our board members, will share a few additional comments on the history of the Battle of Aversboro and what went on here on these sacred grounds. Now it is with pleasure that I recognize Rad's widow, Ruth. Ruth's roots began in Harney County with several brothers and sisters growing up on a dairy farm. She attended Campbell University, which at that time was a two-year college, and transferred to East Carolina University, where she met Rad, who was also a student there, working on an undergraduate degree. Ruth and Rad made their family home in Eastover, adopting that community as their own, and, re re and rearing two children, both of whom have also entered the medical field. Immediately after Rad's untimely death, Ruth took her place as a volunteer and supporter of Avisboro. Now the Callan Fund began with a generous donation in Rad's memory by Frank and Debbie Moody, a couple who live in Eastover, who also have business ties in Dunn, who have for years been loyal supporters of Avisboro, of Troop 745 of Salem United Church, along with the Moody's help, raise the additional funds in the Eastover community indicating the respect this community had for Rad Ridge. It is with pleasure that I recognize and introduce to you Mrs. Bennett, Mrs. Rad Ridge, who introduced the Ridge family and recognized her Harnett County Sexton family. Ruth? Thank you, Mr. Mack. I just want to say how grateful I am to see all of you here. Uh, Ruth and Rad have and I think this cannon will help uh, as our visitors come here. I'm sure that uh, Gloria and I, as we work here on Friday, we'll watch the kids especially as they like to play around this cannon. And they'll probably want to go to the I couldn't really thank everyone who's going to be talking about the good list of the names on the back of your program. We'll see some of those um, and thank those people if you know them. And there were just too many and I'm afraid that I would forget some if I started calling names. I'm proud to have my family here, my daughter Amy, her husband Henry, their children Richard and Blair. I have our son Mark, his wife Maria, their children Allie and Ashley. I have my family, some of them from Lillington, they couldn't all be here, but I have my brother Fred Sexton. My brother Tommy Sexton, my sister Elizabeth Sexton Art, and my cousins Dorothy and Dallas Pope from Lillian. So I'm really glad to have all and all of my Eastover friends and all the uh, other people from other than Eastover here too, but I'm glad to see all of them. Thank you. And my grandson Richard. 